In this segment, I'm going to be pointing out the features and the functions of the RC3 looper pedal I'm using in this course. First off, I'm going to start out with the standard functions that you're going to find on most looper pedals on the market. So don't think this is about the RC3, this is about all of the functions you'll find probably on the looper pedal that you already have. I'll also then go on to show you the um, auxiliary functions that you will find on the RC3 including the rhythm functions, the tap tempo, etc. Okay, so let's take a closer look at those initial functions that you're going to find on most of the pedals that you have. So let's take a look at the typical looper functions that you're going to find on nearly every looper pedal out there on the market. Now one press on the pedal is going to initiate recording and of course we've got no groove right now so I'm going to try and get a really nice solid loop going and then I'm going to initiate overdubbing as well and I'm going to talk, talk you through that as we do it. So one, two, three, four. Let's just check that that's okay. Okay, now, so we've got the red light still showing, which means I'm in overdub mode and playback, so I can overdub too. So now I'm just in playback mode. Now let's say for example I want to stop my loop now totally. I press twice and that stops the loop. Now if I want that to play back start again, one press. Okay. Now if I want to overdub some more things on top of that, I will press the pedal one more time. Okay, so now we've got those leaps in there. Now let's say I don't like the guitar part that I've got, the last one. I hold the pedal down. And that undid the last guitar part that I played. Now if I decide I actually want that back in, I can hold the pedal down one more time, just hold it down and it'll redo. Okay, so you hear that. So just to go over those functions again, one push down on the pedal initiates recording. One further activation of the pedal keeps it in playback mode and still recording mode, all right? If I want the whole recording process to stop, I press the pedal twice. Okay, so playback is one push as well after you've recorded your loop and also you can continue overdubbing after that. I could continue, if I play my loop now with one push of the pedal and all of those parts loop, I could continue recording on top of that if I want to as well by initiating record again. Now the redo and undo features, after I've recorded the last guitar part, if I don't like it, as I said, you hold the pedal down for about three seconds and that will flash UN and it will undo the last part. If you want the part back in, hold it down again, hold the pedal down again, and that will redo the guitar part. So they're the typical functions of most looper pedals. Now also you're going to find that you've got a volume, and you can see that here. This outer one on the RC3 is the volume of my loop. So listen to this. So I can change the volume of my recorded loop using the rotary dial and that is typical of most loopers on the market. Now the additional features that you're going to find here on especially the RC3 are the fact that you've got rhythm grooves in here also you've got a store function okay so your store function is here so if I want to save my loop I will hold down the right button you see that's flashing hold it one more time, it flashes, and that means that's stored that loop, and even if I power down the RC3, 
the loop will still come up and be in that location. Now I can store that to another location providing the location is an empty location not a pre-recorded loop. Okay now so let's take a look at some other functions here. We have a rhythm on off and a tap tempo but before I initiate those and show you those what I'd like to do is I'm going to clear the loop that's in here. So let's say for example I don't like the loop I've got in location number one and this is typical again with most pedals you will from the stop mode and I'm in stop mode there's nothing happening let's just turn this up prove that there's nothing in there I hold it down it's going to play back part of my loop and then you see the clear the CL there and the green light flashes now that means my loop location now at number one is empty so now what I want to do is I'm going to initiate adding a loop to this uh, a groove all right so here's my rhythm on off button and I'm going to adjust that rhythm volume here okay my top rotary now I'm not crazy about that so I'm going to change that rhythm by holding down the rhythm button okay so now we have a shuffle and there's various grooves in here Okay, so you can step through those. There's, there's 10 of them. You can even just have a hi-hat that keeps time. Okay, so let's go back to the shuffle. Now let's say I want that a little bit faster. This green light here is my tap tempo. Let's make that faster. Okay, so now I like that. I like my groove. Now, if I want to then record over this with a count in, I hold this tap tempo down and it shows here in the display that there is no counting or automatic recording feature. Now if I want to use the counting feature which means I'll get one bar of this groove before it records I can either go to auto or counting. Now the counting will give me one bar of music whereas if I use auto mode I will initiate the start of the recording and it will only record as soon as I start playing. But let's do that with the counting feature, okay? So that can be playing like that. I know what I've, I've got, the groove's going. So I'm just going to record something, okay? And I'm going to play just this A7 thing against it. So here's the counting. Okay, now I want my loop just a little bit louder. Okay, so you saw me there initiate the counting procedure on the RC3 with a groove, all right? Now, that's great, I overdubbed something as well. So we've got that now in here, but I'll lose that if I don't store it. So what I'd need to do if I want to keep that loop is press the right button once. And then press it again, that stores that, okay? Now, I'm going to undo that and then we're going to do the auto feature, okay? Which means that it only initiates recording when you start playing. So I'm going to undo... Okay, and that's done by holding that down about three seconds. So now to initiate auto record, I'm going to hold down my tap tempo. And you'll see it's got the CT there, which is the counting mode. Use the up down arrows to go to auto. All right. Now what's going to happen, I need to initiate the pedal once. And then that will be in standby ready mode for auto record. So don't make a sound until you're ready for that to be recording. So here's this. Okay, so you saw that it went into record mode as soon as I actually made a sound and started playing my loop. So they're the options that you have. Um, on the RC3 so you can have additional grooves you've got auto counting um, auto record sorry and counting modes 
and no initial recording setup. So you're basically using the pedal to initiate the recordings. Okay, so they're the basic features of this. Also, just to let you know, you can use the USB input and output of this looper pedal to store your loops. You can even import loops or drum grooves or backing tracks into each of these locations. And you've got a three hour record time on this pedal, which is pretty phenomenal. Okay, so those are the functions of this. And of course, you can see on here, you've got input A, input B, and output A and B. So you've got a stereo looper here as well. So you can use it in mono mode or stereo mode. So those are the functions, obviously the basic functions that you'll find on most loopers, plus the additional ones we find on the RC3.